Are you looking for the best performance in Escape from Tarkov? Are you looking for agents for a solution? Well, stop looking at overclocking CPU or GPU or finding the best settings. We all know that Tarkov is still in beta and is not fully optimized yet to play this game. Whatever you're running, this is a simple video made for people who don't have to put thousands of hours like me to find a good setting or OC to play this game perfectly. Because this is a hard thing to do if you don't have the knowledge. The only thing you need is a little upgrade. If you're already running an AM4 platform, then you only need to do is change the CPU. If you're not running an AM4 platform, then you need to buy an AM4 motherboard as well. So what are we talking about here? Well, very simple. I bought an AMD 5950X CPU with an Aorus Master 570X AM4 motherboard at the highest peak. So you lost a lot of rubles, no? <laughs> yeah, I did. Shut the fuck up. Very dumb, I know. But I thought it was the best. I'm not saying it's bad. Because this CPU can run games and streaming at the same time with no problem. But if you are a guy or a girl that only likes to play Tarkov and you're not streaming, this upgrade will blow your mind. The only thing you need is another CPU called 5800X 3D VGash. So what's so different about this CPU? This CPU only meant for gaming. The CPU is bringing a whopping total L3 cache to 96 megabytes. I'm not gonna explain how it works or give you more headache. The only thing you're here for is the performance and how much FPS can this beast actually do. I used a program that called Caprain X. This records my FPS in Tarkov. I record my FPS on my 5950X versus my 5800X 3D. And here are my records. All right, another thing I want to mention is that I recorded this with a 1440p with these settings to squeeze the max FPS out of it. I recorded my FPS three times on each CPU, only recorded on map woods. So here you can see the difference is massive. Sometimes you get lag spikes from the server side too. I usually had 120 FPS to 70 or 80 FPS with my 5950X. Now with the 8500 3D it can run up to 170 FPS to 130 FPS. So when you have a Dibbon FPS from 170 to 130 FPS, you won't feel the stuttering anymore. With the 5950X, you felt the dip to 70 FPS. That's really crap. You don't want that. The minimum for this game is around 100 FPS, so you won't feel any kind of lag or stuttering. So if you have the money, the 5800X 3D is around $450 or 480 euro-ish. If you only need to upgrade your CPU, of course. If you need a motherboard as well, the price will be around $180 till $300 AM4 platform. There should be no reason to upgrade it to Gen 4 if you're only into gaming, because this will be another price tag. The 5800X 3D is the way to go. So I hope I helped you out and think twice before you buy expensive shit. Alright guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.